Hello everybody, Torgali, and welcome back to another episode of Unbound. First thing I want to show you guys today is the progress around the, the little pond here, or the lake. I don't know, it's probably big enough to be a lake. A pond is a lot smaller, I think. And over here we had that oil, and now that it is gone, I was able to close up that uh, cave entrance right there, and I start dressing it up just like everywhere else around, and I planted a couple more trees as well. And a little beachfront um, relaxing spot right here with a cooler. This is all from DecoCraft right over here. Then up here in our dock, I put a barbecue and a chair. All the way over there. I, I don't want to go there right now. Um, there is a... Oh, what is it called? Oh, man. Now I have to go there. <laughs> uh, what is it called? A swing set? No. A swing set is for kids. What is that called? Hey, why you not teleport me? There we go. No, it is a garden swing. Okay. I put one of those right here. I thought the view is really nice from here looking over there. Um, it's just all together. It's really coming along. I'm very happy how it looks right now. Um, the only open spot, I guess, is a little bit over here. But we might still put something else in front of here. That's why I haven't removed the deco craft and so on. But look at this. It's looking nice. I really like it. Let me know how you guys like it. If you have any other decoration tips for me. Ooh. I don't want to trample anything. And then there's one more thing I played around with. I put a little bit out of the way. At night, this area also looks really good. Uh, because I did some a uh, lot of hidden lighting. And it's this right here. It's a little walkover bridge. I figured this is pretty good right there, right? Um, it doesn't really go anywhere. I just I saw it in the DecoCraft workbench and I, I really liked it. So I wanted to make it. I'm actually completely out of that clay stuff now that's in the... Deco bench. I need to make more. The dyes I have, but I think it takes clay and sand or something like that. I don't remember. All right, and up here nothing changed. I uh, changed this over here. I made a this guy right here. The crafting components to make some of these iron mechanical components today because it saves you a lot of materials. Oh, and I needed to make so many plates today that I automated this here. I, I set it up over in the in the main area in the house. So now I have an input chest here as well and an output, and this one is black, black, white. I just kept the, the, the scheme going, right? So now I can make plates remotely. I Again, I needed so many today. And I'll show you guys in a minute for what. So let's go downstairs. And first, here. For all our my OCD viewers. <laughs> oh, man, I can't believe the... The comments I got on this on Discord as well as on the video because I, I remember I put the... The connectors, I think like this, but then on the last one, instead of putting it here, I put it here. So it was not symmetrical. Man, you guys are crazy. I mean, I noticed it when I was editing it, but I did say it was temporary, right? But anyway, it's fixed. I thought it was funny. I'm, I'm not mad or anything. It was just really funny to see how many people noticed that. So now the, the um, conduit runs underneath here and goes to these four. So they're charged from underneath. And I also made it so each one of them has a small capacitor bank with 100,000 RF waiting there, right? So that should make it faster if I need to empower anything else. Okay, nothing else changed uh, besides on the outside and here the little redoing. Um, and right over here, I made a little bit of an obsidian station. I took this fluid placer out from our lava um, fill station for the turtles because I don't ever need to fill the turtles again. Um, and I put it here, and it is also going to be fed lava, and then this here is a breaker, right? Because I'm going to need a lot of obsidian here to make the void upgrades here, these guys right there. And you guys see, each one of them takes eight obsidian, and I, I just don't want to get it by hand anymore. So I get a full drum over here, and when I place that here, it should place the obsidian here, uh, the lava here, turn into obsidian, and then automatically get mined up. Let's see if this works. Yes, it does. Nice. And it all goes into here, and this has 256 buckets, so that means it's going to be four stacks. And then when they're done, I can just come over here and take them out, and maybe fill it again and so on. It's, it's easy, right? But I don't need to worry about making obsidian anymore. Um, Let's take the normal way home. I don't want to go take the, the teleportation, the home. Let's go take this way. We never take this. And come up here. Oh, I got a hold down. I keep forgetting that. There we go. What? Why did I land up here? Oh, this might be... Okay. <laughs> May I please use my zip line? 
Okay, I don't know what happened there. This time it worked. All right, and we can look around. I like it. Oh, yeah, you see the little boat here in the lake? Isn't that neat? It's cute. And right here, you know, if you guys come over for barbecue, I can cook up for us nicely. All right, so I prepared a bunch of stuff here. Let's eat up real quick. For our quarry. All right, all these things here. Excuse the mess. I got things everywhere. And I think we'll just go ahead and get started right away with that. I need to make a mining drill. You see tons of plates here. These actually I made over here. I needed a bunch of plates and whatnot to make a generator. This is just a regular generator from IC2. And here I made the metal former for all the casings um, and then also all the cables and so on, right? So we have it. And it, I could put that over here because it doesn't run an RF, so I just feed it directly. But anyway, so here is the regular mining drill. And then right there we upgrade it to the diamond mining drill. All right, and then over here, we need another drill from Actually Edition, so we have both of them. And now I forgot. Um, yes, this goes into here, yes. And this makes us the vertical digger. Now, the vertical digger by itself would be a cool mining um, thing already, but by default, it is, I believe, has a two radius, so a five by five, and if you don't make any the phantom range extenders what are they things called again uh actually let's just check for phantom these guys right here the phantom booster i think if you add you can add up to four phantom boosters and then i think the max radius is like 10 so it would be 21 by 21 don't quote me on it it could be a little bit more as well it's been a while since i used that and you can tell this guy here to only get ore or everything, right? So this is already pretty nice, but I don't want to use that. I want to get directly to the build craft quarry today. And there it is. I made this the item router already off camera, which is simple, you know. To them, that's what I wanted the mechanical components for. And we got our quarry. Yes, what? No advancement to get a quarry? Are you kidding me? For everything else, we get advancements, but not for the quarry. What am I missing? Lava power a sterling energy with lava bucket. Craft and place a quarry. Ah, we need to place it. Okay. Have a 64 by 64 quarry finish. Interesting. What is this here? Set a filler on a loop for long term automation. Okay, I almost forgot why I made the obsidian here, so I crafted these first and put them all in here. So here we have all the void upgrades now, and I, I guess I should just set this thing up now and tell you guys step by step on what it's going to do. But you see here, I already set up most of the pipes. I have not had it running, as you guys can see, as you know, there's no hole. <laughs> um, so this, these right here, the stern and combustion engines, um, I can put them down first. Let's put these down. You guys see the water pipe is underneath right here. But let's put these all right here. Okay, these need water. And then a fuel. I think so. What? What? Okay, I'm not really sure what that means. I thought this was just for cooling or something. But we'll see. So, um, I made an aqueous accumulator over here from thermal expansion. Very simple recipe. Very straightforward. And I placed it down here, surrounded it with water. And then it's set to auto output so that's why i don't need a servo here and it just fills all of these with water they should be able to keep up easily right now behind these right here i have gates on each one of them you guys see and they are all set to this here if you get a red pipestone signal turn the redstone on and over here i have a lever and this one here reads if redstone make the pipe signal red all right and don't forget last time we learned if i put the gate here and put the redstone signal over loop it will power itself endless. That's why I needed to place it one further away. And now if I turn this on, let's see, right there we can see it. Bam, they all turn on or off. So this is how I'm going to handle it for now. I might automate this here by reading itself. Hey, if if it's still blue, keep going. We'll see how it works out, okay? Now, right here is going to be the quarry. Sorry, right here is going to be the quarry on top of a chest. And on top of that, a chest. And then right here, this is... How I'm going to get the items for right now. I don't want to send them directly to our storage system or something. So I have a drawer for um, dirt, cobble, gravel, granite, and a diorite, andesite. Uh, what are you? 
limestone from chisel and marble from chisel right was that chisel yes okay and then in the end we have an empty tier three so this can hold 300 stacks of whatever else we get ores coal diamonds redstone lapis and all that good stuff right okay but now let's go ahead and set up the actual quarry let's turn f9 right here yes um, so the max size you can have is 64 by 64 with these landmarks. You need to make these landmarks if you haven't seen these. It's a lapis above a redstone, right? And then to make you help a little bit, I'm going to put a redstone here. Just so it gives me these axes, right? And then we'll run down here to the end. Um, I can speed this up if I use this here. Here we go. And it will go to right here, right? But I'm going to stop it... No, I can put it... What if I put it to here? There was something. Why I moved this over one. I think that one... Not, no, no, it does work. I can put it here. Yes. I want to make it max size, okay? Because this quarry is not very fast, even with six of these engines. It's probably going to take multiple hours. Many hours for this to finish, right? Um, well, and I have to dig through all the dirt and all the top layers that nobody wants the stuff from, right? Because don't forget, we're at Y70 in the mining age. Um, before I get to the good stuff. So once I get to the good stuff, I want this to spend a lot of time. And that's why I'm doing a 64 by 64 max size, which is... Uh, what would that be? Yeah, that's 4x4 four four chunks, so 16 chunks. So now when you remove this redstone torch, and now you right-click this one, you only need three points. You guys see it makes this one big square. Let me turn off this right there, right? And then now that it's set up like that, we can take our quarry and place it right here. Loud dink coming in. All right, now we got the advancement, okay. And I'm just gonna run around real quick and pick up my landmarks. I know they're not expensive, but I always pick them up. There's the second one. And um, I don't think with this quarry you can actually do a height. I'm pretty sure you can't. You can do it like with the filler and so on. Um, the architect table and whatnot. But I don't think with the quarry. I think the quarry always just goes down to bedrock. Anyway, so now this is set. Now we have to put a chest on top. And I believe the quarry now was changed. That when the chest is full, it will actually stop. It will not spit out items anymore. I think that is what's done. And I finally made a reinforced servo to put here. And we'll turn this to... Ignored. This should be... By the way, does this here... Nearest first, that's what I wanted. Okay. And it's going to do half a stack at a time. Again, this quarry isn't as fast, so it should not have any problem keeping up. I really hope so. If not, we'll change it out. Now, the last thing we got to do is put our fuel here. And I thought that we're just going to put that right up here. Okay. And now when I turn this around, all of these should start filling. Yes. Is it doing them? Yes, it's doing all of them at the same time. That's good. I like that. All right, I'm just gonna wait until they're full because I want to see if we can keep up with the fuel production. That's my thing. I did six of these engines, so that means two per distiller, right? And if I don't make enough fuel, the first thing I'm gonna do is slap another sterling engine of each of the distillers to see if that's gonna speed that up to keep up. But well, let's see. Let's turn it on. It's not going to start digging right away. Because first, it removes all this gobbledygook here. You guys see, it lasers all the grass and everything that's in the way. And then when it's done, it's going to build a scaffolding around here. And then it, we're not actually getting these items. No. Okay. That looks really cool. <laughs> so, how are we doing here? Okay, so this is currently outputting 8MJ. These wooden kinesis pipes can handle 16. So we're not making a lot of power. But what is interesting is that it is actually storing... Uh, so what does that mean? That this guy over here doesn't take it all? Oh, now it's building the scaffolding. We'll see once this starts if they're going to give up their power, actually, right? I don't know. I, I kind of figured they were going to be empty. And they're still all blue, so that's good. All right, scaffolding should be done here momentarily. 
Here we go. It is finished, and there goes the core. Wow, that's fast. <laughs> that's flitzing over there. Hey, that's not a bad speed at all. It still looks like it's going up. Interesting. So how many items are coming through here? Okay, well, this thing can definitely keep up. Very nice. Let's see over here. It's done with the first pass. I'm excited, guys. We finally have our first quarry or big style quarry, right? I could have used the turtles for this too, but that would have taken a really long time to finish a 16 chunk area. This is not too slow for this, right? I'm like, I love this quarry. I'm sorry, but this is definitely the coolest quarry of all the quarries out there. Because you have these moving arms and stuff. That is just really cool. And um, from what I remember, these quarries have an upper limit. I believe when this used to be able to take RF, it was 500 RF a tick, if I recall that right. That was the max speed. That it, even if you threw a thousand RF at it, it didn't go faster. So these guys are actually overheating now. They're green. So we might have to actually change this here. Sorry. But I'm not going to have that. I don't want these to, you know, just keep going and blowing um, stuff away needlessly. I want to get rid of all of these redstone thingies here for a second because I won't need them. Because I'm, my, my thinking is, right, if, if they're not actually giving up the power they're making, the harder they get, the more power it's going to make. And then I'm just wasting fuel. See, the thing is still going because these are still... Look how much stuff they still have stored. Anyways, let's come over here and say, instead of the red pipe wire, we'll see if the engine is blue. Do your thing. Just like we always do before. Uh, I was just hoping that maybe there is something like if if the internal power is less than 100%, keep going. But it does not seem to be an option. I don't even know how much they can hold these. All right, so the all six should be going now. All right, good. So I really wonder what the what the bottleneck is here. Is Is it this here? The quarry, can the quarry not... Uh, am I making too much? This is... I mean, that's the only... Only... Explanation I have. Well, I guess we could test that as well, right? Let's go ahead and turn this one off. So this one is going to turn off now. And let's just turn three off. And then we should see if the other three... Once they're all drained now, I'm going to have to give this a minute, right? We're going to wait until they're all drained. And then we'll see if these three are going to stay empty. And then we're going to turn on the fourth one. And then once we reach it, so they're, they're, they're storing more power than they're giving up. Then we know this is how many engines we can give it, right? It doesn't look any slower right now, but that's probably because they're still... Been okay, let me stop rambling here and wait until these guys are empty. It took over five minutes for these guys to run out of power, and I had time to make this uh, Buildcraft guidebook here that really locks up your game when you're trying to open it, um, which is interesting. But unfortunately, everything is in here but the quarry. <laughs> I, I looked at everything. I also found these heat exchanges, which we might have to take a look at eventually. Um, everything is in here, but not the quarry. So I'm not, I'm not sure why, but... Uh, doesn't matter. It's not there. So now two of them. Are two of them on? Hello? There we go. One of them. That's the second one now. And uh, you can clearly see this one does not store up power. Okay. So. And the second one. And this thing is still. It's actually moving at pretty good speed already. This is almost as fast as we had it. So maybe the third one will kick it in. To, if, sorry guys, um, it's getting really hot here, and I am currently um, remodeling my room here a little bit, and the air conditioning is not in the window, so I had to open the window, otherwise I'm melting in here. It's uh, early evening, and this uh, room is facing west, so if you guys can hear a train horn, I apologize for that. And this definitely looks like it's going at the full speed that we had earlier. 
Are you guys retaining power yet? Not yet. But I have a suspicion that when we turn on the fourth one, that that will kick it over the edge. We'll see. Yeah, it sped up a little bit. I think we were able to see that. Yep. Now it's storing power. So four seems to be just a little bit too much. So it looks like... I think I'm just going to run it with three, guys. I mean, yeah, the, the, the speed is just a tiny bit slower than it is right now. And I'm not going to waste any fuel. So I have three. I made three for nothing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're going to find another place. Maybe we'll use it for our laser setup when we built it. I, I, I just did a dumb mistake, but it's okay. I, hopefully I'll need them eventually. I made a bunch of transmitters from RF tools instead of receivers. So now if I check here. I have seven transmitters. I had three set up already, and then I couldn't figure out why I couldn't click on them with my um, advanced porter until I, yeah, I figured that out. But it's okay. It happened. So that's quarry is down now. What is that about? That I think is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine layers. So it's down at 61 and tons of copper. <laughs> also, nice amount of iron, which I just used a lot. I had 260-something when I started this episode. I'm down to six. <laughs> uh, because all of these here, three iron, and each one of them costs four iron. And I actually had to set up... Let me show you here. Well, let's set this up real quick first, and then I'll show you guys. Um, I want to have this here. I, the whole reason behind why I'm setting these up, guys, is that I would like to stop using the slash home command. It's driving me nuts. I'm not a fan of it. Um... Turn this to out. I already bound this here to the first one, so it's ID 1, and you don't see any charge coming in because it's still charging the advanced porter. Um, I guess I should pick that up real quick, but first let me show you down at home 12. That's what I, I call my thing down here. I'm going to set one up here as well. Um, wait. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. It is over here. Yeah, that's where my turtles are. You guys see, I, I sent them off because I needed diamonds, and they should be... If I use this, it's quicker, yes. Down here, they're busy. And because I left the area, you guys see they're in different positions, uh, because it's not chunk-loaded anymore. So, I'll, I'll pick these up later. So, let's go to the factory. That's where the main, the main power cell is, where the power comes in. And, of course, I am completely... Um, overusing these four water mills that I have here. So very soon we're gonna start with a, a new building or something and start making some more advanced power. Oh, I never showed you guys this here. Um, after I set up the quarry, I checked the fuel and this was not making fuel fast enough. So I added a second... How are we doing here? Yes, this is still going up the fuel. So that's what I wanted. So we're making enough fuel and we're getting enough oil to keep the four combustion uh, engines running over there. So I added three more right here on this side. So these guys are running much faster now, uh, producing fuel. But anyway, so this guy right here has the advanced porter, which is full. Very nice. And we'll put one right there and we'll call this one factory. Then we'll go home AS2 up here, right there. I have another one. And this one is going to be Astral Sorcery. And of course, this one here is the only one. If I want to go to the other Astral Sorcery area, I just use this one here, right? Because, I mean, that just be weird. And the reason why I'm... Actually, can I set this up already? Let me see here. If I shift right click and then I say target. If I click here and shift right click this. It put it on the first one. That's not what I wanted. Okay. I want to have them somewhat in order. So we have to start with the one at home, that one that I'm setting up right here, right? So this is going to be called home. So this one is going to be shift right click the first one, even though this number is different. But, you know, I just care about the the, the order right here. And then we go home factory. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right. Does it automatically add it in the next spot? Yes. Factory, and then I think the next one I want is Home AS2. 
I'm not gonna do one down in the Botania area because honestly, I can just come here and jump down. So let's do this number three, like right here. <gasps> I'm dead. How in the world did I survive that? Guys, for some reason, I thought that I cannot take fall damage. Um, I How did I survive this? I have Feather Falling 4, but I had no idea that you can survive a drop like this. Um, I think I remember when I was working up here a lot. You guys remember I had the slime boots on. And I think that I still had it in, my, in the back of my mind that I could never die from up there. And that's why I just dove off like that. So yeah, we we don't want to do that. So maybe I am going to set up a one for Botania over here. Oh man, I'm so lucky I didn't die. Let's put it right here. And that also means that I'm going to have a charging station everywhere, right? Which is nice. So we'll set all this to out. We'll put one card in there. One of you. And we'll call this Botania. Okay. And then shift right click. So now I have home factory astro sorcery Botania. Um, the mob farm, definitely. I'm not putting it. It's right next to my house. So let's go home trees. Now, hopefully this is the last time I need to use this to come over here. Ah, uh, loading time, loading time. Okay, here we are. So let's run back over here. And now I can bind this. Did I name this? Okay, so I'm going to call this quarry. And whenever I move the quarry, I move that with it, right? So there we go. Um, I guess there's one more I should have set, and that's over in the roguelike dungeon, but honestly, it's such a short flight um, that this is totally okay. Um, so yeah, this is very cool. Now we have all of this set up, and now that I can say set this one, and I just right-click it, start teleportation, and we go home. I like that a lot better. I don't need to remember the different homes that I'm setting and, and whatnot, right? Yes, I like that. So we still have two of those. I'm going to put them in the magic tab because I'm running out of tabs. This is where the, um, the turtles are going. And now, whoops, like I said, I would like to start with Abyssal Craft. Because, you know, we did tech and so on. And now it's time to start a little bit of a, something else. Just mix it up a bit. And we're going to get started, like I said. Oops, I got a little bit to hiccup with Abyssal Craft. And if I remember right, the first thing I need to do for Abyssal Craft is make this here, the Necronomicon. Okay, I should have all that in the system. Oh, did I get a little bit more iron? Okay. Just in case I'm running so low. Let's go ahead and we got our Necronomicon. Now, I've done uh, Abyssal Craft once with friends on a different server. Um, and, but it's, it's still not that uh, well in memory. Uh, forbidden knowledge, abyssal craft, the great old. I'm trying to figure out. I think we needed to charge this book here to get going, and then we needed to make a ritual to upgrade it. So let me go ahead and read up on this for a second. Actually, guys, I'm sorry to do this to you, but we're gonna continue with abyssal craft next time. I just uh, edited the video and I noticed that we're already at 30 minutes. And I don't want to have to rush Abyssal Craft. I want to take my time with that. It's a lot of fun getting started with it and exploring the dimensions. So that's where we're going to start with next episode. Um, but today we got a lot done. I'm very happy about the quarry. And as you guys see, it's it's doing work. I mean, this is a lot of ore. Check it out. Um, all of these drawers over here are full and voiding besides the gravel. That's the only one that is not. But all the other ones have been voiding for a while. And these are all the spoils that we've gotten so far. That is a lot of stuff uh, for one person playing. Oh, I love all the iron. <laughs> and I can't wait to see how much redstone and whatnot. And I probably should add a compacting drawer for like clay and possibly coal. I might do that. Um, I might stop the quarry here in a minute and move this over and then add the uh, two compacting drawers for those. I think that'd be good because um, might actually add another one for redstone because you know we're gonna get a ton of redstone from this as well lapis not so much but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode and now we got legit teleportation i'm so happy about that um you know because the home command is just it feels cheesy um that's that's my problem i i'm still gonna use it like a temporary thing if i'm somewhere and i forgot something and so to make the oh 
recordings a little bit more fluid and so on but overall i don't want to use that oh you guys can see apparently i did dig here once not much and i'm guessing this is down at 46 all right let's check here real quick yeah 46 there it is this is my this is where i i dug by hand not much um to get iron and so on because 46 is the best for iron but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed the episode and i'll catch you in the next one Take care, stay safe, and bye-bye.